headed out from home, headed up to Michigan. It's uh, the weather's been raining on and off uh, ever since I started. Of course, it was raining at home. Almost didn't make it up the driveway there from the the, the rain and the mud and the gravel and uh, but but I got up so headed out to Michigan. Our uh, had to cancel our main trip to Acadia. Uh, we were going to do uh, Acadia National Park, uh, Dick, Lynn, and Josh, and I. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Dick had a little incident, had a, a little medical issue, and so he, he couldn't go. So we're going we're gonna to do the Upper Peninsula instead. Or he could go, but he just he couldn't uh, drive that far. I mean, his vision was blurred. So uh, we're going to do the Upper Peninsula instead. Uh, do painted rocks, uh, you know, on, on up in the air of Michigan and around. Should be, should be a good time, so stick around. Uh, it'll take me a couple of days to get up there. I hope to get to Keith's place in Misek to, by tomorrow and then uh, see Charlie and, and Ron if he's there and then, uh, then head on up to Elk Rapids and then we're going to take off from there. So I made it to uh, uh, Elk Rapids. Uh, this is River Street. This is the, uh, the uh, downtown area. Pretty cute. Might talk them into coming over here and having lunch later. Anyway, the Lynn and Dick uh, and Josh, we're I'm just about there, and we, then we're going to head out and go over the Mackinac Bridge and hit the Upper Peninsula for uh, almost two weeks. So just came from uh, Misik, and Kiso place, in uh, a couple days. Had a good time there. Well, the bay in Petoskey. We're headed up from Elk Rapids uh, to uh, Dick and Lynn's and Josh place up in uh, Paradise. We're going to spend a couple days there and go over and see Pitchard Rocks, and then we're headed out to, to explore the UP. Petoskey is just beautiful. All these old homes. I guess this was a big hangout in the, in the day for the well-to-do. Babe, you in? A lot of gingerbread up here. Big hot dogs. Big bridges. Just about to the Mackinac Bridge. How'd you like that segue? The Straits of Mackinac. Well, I just got on the bridge. Pretty, very pretty. Nice day, too. No winds. It's still quite the bridge. Well, welcome to Michigan's Upper Peninsula. As soon as we uh, pay to get through the, the tolls here. Well, I spent the first two nights at Dick and Lynn's here in uh, near Paradise in the Upper Peninsula. Right here off the uh, Two-Hearted River. Just gorgeous. A little buggy. <laughs> But just gorgeous. This is her little cabin uh, up here. Just peaceful. Slept great last night. Uh, sun's coming up. Just the weather's just been beautiful. It's supposed to be in the uh, 80s pretty much all week. Cools down to lower 60s at night. It's just perfect. Is everybody smile? <laughs> it does. Is this a movie? Uh huh. No, no. It's a, it's a, it's a movie. Yeah. Some action. <laughs> yeah, it does. Say hi. Hi, Larry. We stopped in Munising and took the uh, Pitchard Rocks boat tour, which lasted about three hours. The views were impressive, but to really be inspired by the size of the cliffs, kayaking was the way to go. Due to the wind and noise from the boat, I was unable to get any usable audio of the captain relaying the names and stories of the formations, such as Miner's Castle, Lover's Leap, Battleship Row, and Indian Head.
solid sheet of copper, and it will turn green as it ages. This channel. Shows down there. <laughs> That's cool. Well, the He's dream a lot more organized. He's a lot better packer than Is that the one that, uh... On our way up to Copper Harbor, we ran across this interesting traveler at a rest stop. Kind of reminds you of Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Christmas, Michigan. Come up here and send your Christmas cards out every year. They're postmarked from Christmas, Michigan. They also have a uh, Kawadin Casino, in case you're feeling really giving. To the uh, campground here at Tourist Park in Marquette. So far it looks great. I've got no idea where we go, I can't remember. Uh, Tourist Park right here in the middle of uh, Marquette. A little lake. The showers aren't much, one shower each. Uh, one for the men, one, one for the women. But the sights aren't bad, uh, fairly level. I don't, I don't understand why they don't have sewer and water at every site. I got an electric site. Dick and Len got a um, water and electric site. Something like a hundred sites here, I guess. Pretty big park. It'll do for the night. Headed out to Houghton in the morning. There's a uh, brewery here somewhere. Gotta go see if we can find that uh, pub brewery and have dinner. So, see you later. Views of the uh, Keweenaw Peninsula, uh, just about up, just about to the Wilderness Resort. That's where we're going to spend a couple days and tour around here. Uh, very pretty. Nice day today, too. It's 81 degrees right now. Well, we're here, <laughs> I think. <laughs> I see RVs in the back, and a log cabin here says the uh, Wilderness Resort. Cabins, motel, and campground. Check in. Probably this front, front door, Dick. Front door. Front, front door. <laughs> but they do have a pump out. That's one good thing. Another view of uh, Lake LaBelle, Lac LaBelle. I see all the little cottages around it. Nice little lake. And it looks like it has channels that go out to uh, Lake Superior. And the Wilderness Resort RV uh, Park is right, right up around the corner here. All kinds of uh, uh, all-terrain vehicle trails, I guess. Fort Wilkins. About two thirds of the building survived. 1870s. Basically, the police force up here in the uh, Keweenaw Peninsula. Keeping the peace among the miners, I guess. Four cabins and then the actual fort. At the tip of Copper Harbor, Keweenaw Peninsula. It's been a parade grounds. Here's the first lookout uh, going up Rockway Mountain. This is Copper Harbor in front of us. There's the town. I don't know if will be able to make out the lighthouse on the, the northern prong that comes down over the harbor. Then there's the little lake that was behind uh, Fort Wilkins. And 
Fort Wilkins was right up in that uh, space between the Copper Harbor and that lake. And then way up at the tip uh, up there is where we tried to find the uh, uh, alleged rocket launch site, Michigan's rocket launch site. Right, Dick? What's that? M Michigan's rocket launch site. Didn't you tell me it was up there on that? <laughs> Historic site. <laughs> Very informative. It's where Michigan launched its uh, quest for space. Authorized in 1961. It was closed again in 1969. <laughs> waterfall right here by the pull-off to uh, view the Copper Harbor Lighthouse where the uh, John Astor, Jacob, John Jacob Astor, a 78-foot uh, look like sloop, I guess, or a schooner, grounded uh, itself and burst into flames back in the 1800s. It's probably the prompt to put the lighthouse there for Copper Harbor. Pretty scenic around here, though. A little cooler today. Uh, the high is about 65. Probably normal temperature for here. South down the uh, peninsula from Copper Harbor, headed to Eagle Harbor. Gorgeous. Nice day out, too. 12 miles down from Copper Harbor is Eagle Harbor. Just a cute little town. Of course, got quite the breeze coming in off uh, Lake Gichigumi. The Great Sand Bay. Just beautiful. Jacob Falls. Kids are having a ball here. It flows out into Lake Superior. A dinner tonight at the Eagle River Inn. Let's see what this is like. That's a lot of snow. <laughs> Found this little interesting tidbit alongside 41 just uh, south of Eagle River. Keweenaw County's snowfall, 1957 to 2021. Last year was a uh, all-time low. Oh no, it was 15 feet. The all-time low was in uh, uh, 1999, 16, 161 inches. The record high was in the winter of 1978-79, 3,904 inches. I'll have to think for a minute, but obviously it's over 30 feet. Kerr Sarge. Just uh, north of Calumet, little town. You can tell this was a mining town. Not much has changed here in 60 years. Now the miner's house at uh, Quincy Mines. Old stove. A couple of little bedrooms up here. I guess this is what you would call a little bungalow. And the miner's house from the outside. Or a salt box, I guess, would be, be a more appropriate term for that. buildings. There's the mine. I 
have to go into this and see what this is all about. Railroad cars uh, to haul out the, uh, the copper. Conductors. Well, we just entered the Porcupine Mountains State Park. Saw these uh, memorials to the engineers. And those that uh, died in battle in France from Company C, the 125th Infantry, 32nd Division, right here on Lake Superior. Not bad, eh? Not bad. Pretty, pretty nice. A little overcast day, but the weather's beautiful. Yeah, it's probably warm. Sunny out there, wait. Can't believe how calm it's been. We spent two nights at the Berglund Township Park while we toured the Porcupine Mountains. Lynn fixed some great meals and I hated to leave, but it was time to head home. Thanks Dick, Lynn, and Josh for a great trip. How about Glacier National Park next year?